So they added like a hundred foot of new wall because of this situation. It's so dangerous. This is really a fresh tire call, and probably to double check you're good on fuel. You heard that the 11 was close. Hold up, he's about to talk about it. But if you're any of these guys, you're trying to make a day out of something, you have a little extra fuel case. We can get some. Come on, Rick. I mean, that's two and a half miles every extra lap. But uh, they added a hundred foot. Hunter. So, listen, that wreck from Ryan Blaney was unbelievable. Yeah, it was. It was hard. Tip of the hat to Pocono Raceway and the decision to expend pit lane. Back in 2015, we had been coming here for a long time. And twice on the same weekend, this is Jeff Burton. Spins off turn four, just misses the barrels, and he is pretty far down pit lane when he makes contact. This is practice. You see the guy standing on pit lane. Then Casey Kane in the race. I mean, he's four pit stalls down. When watch he, I mean, watch the helmets go flying. Jeff. Look at these pit helmets over pit boxes, people diving out of the way. I mean, look at everyone scamper. Pocono Raceway comes in, and they extend that wall between pit road, right? So this whole section right here has been extended. Like, there's new. It's about 100 to 150 feet of new wall. And if we go back and look at that Ryan Blaney hit, think about that restart zone decal. He hits in the first Geico. So, I mean, 50, 75 feet down pit lane, a huge hit. It was great to see Blaney get out. But so thankful for both Ryan and everyone on pit road. The pit wall is not like that other wall. You don't want a car hitting that at speed. There are pit crew members. So a big adjustment here from Pocono that's unfortunately been tested multiple times this weekend with all the trouble off.